make sure we're coming in live. And there we are. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is May 20th, 2021. And we got a comic book haul. I picked it up yesterday. I announced this live stream um, last night, and uh, it's a con. It's a it's a buy from the. It's two comic books, CGC graded, modern age, and coming from the same seller. So I wasn't sure when it was going to arrive. Uh, it was coming from the United States. Um, that's why I didn't schedule it in. Sort of the one day announcement and um it's a comic book comic books i guess <laughs> we've been chasing uh so i've been keeping a track uh on this on my watch list on ebay and ebay is becoming problematic uh so we'll see we'll see what happens with all the changes uh they're initiating regarding paypal initiating regarding how comic books are listed searched it's a serious problem um it, it it's crazy what the technocrats are doing uh but we'll see how it plays out so i was happy to get these uh coming my way before all those changes kicked in and i was glad to you know list some comic books and sell some comic books before the changes kicked in i just got a notice from ebay saying oh, i haven't updated my account information so i can't sell any more comics on ebay so i'm assuming a lot of people sellers a lot of people that wanted to sell on ebay are getting the same type of email saying oh they haven't because their ebay is disconnecting from paypal um so they're not they're not going to deposit your money into paypal account they want your bank account information so that's a little problematic as far as i'm concerned i might have to uh, create a new bank account just for ebay transactions uh, because I'd rather not have all that information on all multiple platforms, uh, which is crazy. Crack, sniff, sniff. I smell some pulpy goodness warning all. Oh, crack, you're going to love these. <laughs> you're going to love these. Lord of Iron, how are you doing? Hey, good morning, Chicho. Digging the shirt. Thank you. I like this shirt. It's very nice. It's it's a happy shirt. It's a summer. It's a spring summer shirt. Uh, so happy to be wearing it this morning to crack open some comics bob how are you doing hope you're doing well hey chicho can't stay for long as i start my third shift at my new job in a little bit oh wow but i hope you you all have a great day ah oh, i hope you have a good uh good day at work third uh, third day at a new job i hope you're liking the job man uh, and congrats on the new job congrats on the new job Elagod basic account I use for online purchases. Yeah, I think I have to create one of those things, uh, which is crazy. PayPal was my thing, my basic thing that I used, right? So we'll see. And hello, Elagod, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, so Tarek, how are you doing? Yeah, not found fond of eBay banking info mandatory for sales, less control in my view. Yeah, it's crazy. I think what they're trying to do like some old comic how are you doing uh morning chicho says so late afternoon here late afternoon early morning for me and regarding ebay requiring because for those that don't know ebay sent out a notice a month and a half ago or something like this uh, saying that they now require sellers to provide their banking information because they are no longer going to transfer uh sales funds from sales to paypal anymore they need to transfer it to your bank account, which to me is insane because it should be up to the seller to decide where they want the inform they want the money to go to, right? Why don't they have an option to say, oh, you want to transfer to uh, BitPay, PayPal, bank account, wherever else you want it to transfer it to? Why is it necessarily bank account? My take on this is because ebay is trying to generate decentralize themselves from just making money off sales they're trying to generate create a new stream of revenue which is data mining people 
right regarding bank account information and that goes hand in hand with what they're requiring new listings to be because at the same time they're changing their way that people have to list information so when you go to list a comic book i went to list some more comic books i said hell no i'm not going to go through all this right now they want you know they, they have different fields saying uh who did the cover art who are the artists when was it published where was it published? all this information right and if you don't fill that stuff in then in the searches the odds are your listing will not be one of the top ones because it's missing some of the fields right so they're trying to become a data mining company is it gonna work I don't know I think they're gonna take a hit or two in their next few earnings report because people like me and independent sellers which I don't know what percent of sales on eBay are independent sellers but they may not list comic books because there's a huge hassle to to list comic books now right and what's that gonna do is most likely maybe if there's less sellers on eBay kick up the price of products so they might make more money off that but as a buyer I might say you know what this is too expensive now I'm gonna go somewhere else to get my purchase okay so we'll see how this plays out that's my take on why uh, eBay is doing what it's doing and how to technocrats are maneuvering to prevent disruptive innovation and there are challenges coming on to legacy tech companies that have been around for the last 20 years right last 15 to 20 years they're seeing major uh, pressure on them from alternative disruptive innovation new tech coming in to take a piece of the pie which is a fantastic thing if you believe in decentralization which is basically giving uh, allowing markets to dictate uh, what we can consume where we can go what information we can read who we can do business with which is really on the same level as why cryptocurrencies have come into play why all these new tech is coming to play why you're seeing pressure on stocks on certain tech uh, legacy tech companies okay that's my take we'll see how it plays out aside from that welcome to another comic book stream comic book hall good morning from san diego good morning xander how are you doing uh esoteric speaking of comics a massive rest yeah a massive rest in peace for kintaro muria the berserker uh author of berserk yeah berserk not berserker berserk who was revealed to have died uh um, earlier this month yeah it's weird that they didn't really uh announce the death right away this is, we're seeing this happen with some uh certain creators i guess crack they're also going to take their cut off the top before they send the money to your account <laughs> ebay right and just imagine all these people selling on ebay and ebay is going to have all this money sitting in their bank account for two three days before they transfer money right so they're collecting interest on that too right so that's another revenue stream that they're trying to generate collecting interest off people's sales right sleepy waves what's up chicho is this a last minute stream this is a last minute stream i announced it last night i just got the comic book haul and for sure rest in peace um kintaro M mura mura um uh, the author the creator of berserk and the animated series anime i've seen a few episodes uh, i'm pretty sure i've seen it uh which were fantastic their stock will take a hit maybe uh lord of finn i'm assuming it will i saw action comic superman one listed on ebay for 3.5 million yeah last one sold for 3.2 i believe online treachery is running rampant let the little dogs grow exactly a crack i don't think it will have any long-term effect on them they have become too big and established possibly crack possibly uh possibly we'll see like for example my comic shop lists their comic books on ebay to sell but if i was buying from my comic shop i would go to the my comic shop website and buy directly from them because they sell it for less on their website than they do on ebay right so we'll see 
Higgins, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Scott. Scott Manton one. Good afternoon from Southampton, England. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Esoteric. I think the Japanese like their uh, like their privacy, so they get the funeral over and done with. Oh, that's what. He was a very private person most of his life, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. That would explain for sure, for sure. That happened with someone else uh, um, with um, MF Doom. That happened earlier this year. He had died a few weeks before, and then they announced it. So that would make sense. That would make sense. And I would do the same, I think. Void, how are you doing? Curfew removed in a week in Quebec here. It's going to go back to red. We'll see. We'll see. Elder God Chicho. What's in the box? Let's do the box, gang. Comic Visions was his name. Comic Visions was his name. Comic Visions. How are you doing? I'm like, wait a second. I didn't read your name. How are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. Think Thrink Bones. Good day, Chicho. Hope you're having a good day, brother. Indeed. When we got a comic book haul, it's always a good day. Always a good day. Comic Vision. Hi, Chicho. Very glad to see you. How, how you been? doing fantastic but very busy that's why the streams have the frequency of the streams have died down a little bit just um you know doing some stuff in the background and dealing with bs coming from the techno technocrats right macro macrobian how are you doing hey chicho glad i can make it enjoying the sun nowadays in canada indeed indeed it's going to be sunny here today as well the plants are loving it we're going to pick up some pick up some uh, uh cuttings uh, seedlings um, Friday tomorrow and most likely do uh, sort of a patio planting uh, stuff over the weekend which by the way uh, for those of you that might uh, be wondering over the streams most likely we're gonna do a stream Saturday day Sunday day uh, Monday most likely day mathematics uh, Tuesday evening most likely and when maybe Wednesday morning I want to sort it all out today and announce the uh, schedule later on today okay gang uh, I thought red lobster was good <laughs> got ripped off red lobster sucks greetings from Germany greetings Germany how are you doing chain seafood is something I would usually steer clear of indeed indeed uh, the pictures look great on uh, on their advertisements Mick morning Chicho I went to visit my mother a few days ago and she was doing a clean out came across some old stuff i had as a kid picked up my uh 07 08 match attack match uh attacks football card binder where i'd collected them all turns out the limited edition uh cristiano ronaldo nice card uh, that was in there sells for around 100 awesome awesome treasure find Rand the Thor. Hey Chicho, just got back from running a few errands. Got your stream notification. Perfect timing. Hope for everyone's well. Awesome, awesome. The weather is superb. Nice. Gang, let me tell you what we got. In this box is or are two comic books. Okay, they're CGC graded. One of them we bought for $30 US, which comes out to around $36 Canadian. And the other one we bought for $76 US, which comes out to $92 Canadian. Total uh, cost for this buy was around $120, including shipping, which is around $150 Canadian, including shipping. And compared to a year ago, this is basically at a 20% discount if you're buying it from Canada because the US dollar has collapsed 20% in the last year relative to the Canadian dollar. So Canadian dollar value has gone up 20% relative to US dollars, which is one of the reasons I ended up doing this purchase because it was a better deal than what I got it for. And they're already a great deal. Okay, so let's crack this open and they're modern age comics and we're going to crack it open and before we take a look at this i'm going to show you something else that came from a previous comic book haul because it's related to, to the previous comic book haul and if you guys saw i think it was two comic book hauls ago or something uh you're gonna get a kick out of this okay so it's nicely boxed packaged 
and the beauty of this was the person that was selling it he was from new york and he mentioned for canadian buyers and he stated that uh, you know especially for canadian buyers uh that he drives them over the border and sends them from canada so there is no issues at the border getting you know delayed and stuff like this so that was another incentive to buy this from this guy there was actually there was actually three comic books i wanted from this guy but i got overbid on the third one outbid on the third one nice packaging nice packaging nice packaging nice packaging here's the <coughs> nice that's just the total more bubble wrap <laughs> okay these are the comic books let me take them out of the wrap okay and before I show you this, I'm going to show you something else first. Chicho, wow, I didn't realize that the Canadian currency went up by 20%. Do you think it's because Canada didn't print as um, much money? No, it's uh, because Canada printed a ton of money. Okay. Uh, it's because of uh, commodities, oil prices. Uh, mining, oil, uh, food. Canada has a lot of resources. So as soon as oil prices starts going up and commodity prices, especially uh, precious metals and stuff like that go up, Canadian dollar gets stronger, right? So it has a lot to do with that. So that's one way you can play uh, uh, rise and changes in commodities and, uh, and whatnot by playing currencies seller knows how to do business seller knows how to do business knights of old Father. fantastic nice let's put the bubble there so here are the i'm not going to show you these yet here are the two cgc's right now <laughs> oh yeah baby I've been chasing this. I've been chasing this, the, this for a while, trying to get a really good deal on it, right? Now, what are these comic books here, right? What are these comic books here? Let me show you. If you recall, if you recall, I think two comic book hauls ago, I'm calling Strangers in Paradise. <laughs> It, it it could be paradise related it it looks like paradise to me the this this is this is heaven for me like as someone who loves sci-fi i have been a sci-fi lover since i could I, I could i could i could look at things without parental guidance right as a sci-fi lover this is paradise to me but it's not strangers in paradise we already got the stranger in fairness screenshot moment yeah, elder god you're gonna want a screenshot moment now a couple of comic book hauls ago we picked up three comic books from the same artist right do you remember who that was do you remember who that was that was this comic book right cheval noir i don't know for the brew cheval noir number one right so we pick up picked up a cgc graded 9.2 and we picked up a couple of raw comics right and dave stevens is an artist that i've been trying to get his covers okay love love this work dave stevens right this is cheval noir number one i was very happy to pick up the comics that we did the three copies of this this was the only one that was graded okay so very happy with that buy and we had one person come up and they had certain issues with this with this cover <laughs> god damn <laughs> had certain issues with this cover right and we explained that this is a beautiful cover 
I would be proud, proud, proud to have a family member that was able to draw like this, right? That series is so good. So many great stories in there. Yeah, crack. I think I read a couple of them back in the day, but I want to get my hands on this full series, Cheval Noir. And it's it came out in the 1980s, went all the way to the 1990s. And independent comic at its I don't want to say peak but perfection right perfection right so this was from two comic book hauls ago <laughs> here is <laughs> good pronunciation from a French Canadian means black horse is that what it means cheval noir is, is that what it means black horse noir is black cheval is horse yeah void Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that, by the way. Check this out. <laughs> Elder God, ready? <laughs> Dave Stevens cover. Love seeing she show Gika. <laughs> Dave Stevens cover. Cheval Noir number seven, graded at 8.5. I really been looking for this one okay and it was published by Dark Horse and it was published by Dark Horse Comics indeed the giddiness is infectious god damn check this out check this out check this out maybe we can get it so you don't get reflection look at that look at this beautiful cover oh, wow really really awesome 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 and we paid thirty dollars us for this which is free which is dirt cheap dirt cheap right awesome look at this thing look at this thing beautiful beautiful really priceless and by the way gang you guys in the uk i linked up to an ebay auction ebay buy buy it now on our discord page Okay, Elder God. On the dis Elder God, go to our Discord page in the comics folder. There's someone in the UK selling this comic for five pounds. Okay, and it's in fine condition. It's not an eight point five. He says fine. It looks better than fine to me. To me, it looks like I saw it. If the shipping wasn't insane to Canada, I would have already bought that thing. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> so good. He was incredible. I think there is a documentary on him uh, near and complete. Oh, really? I didn't know about the documentary. 30 years old, it's practically CGC fee. That is CGC fee. <laughs> like, basically, I got we got this comic book for free because, uh, as you know, like, in terms of economics and stuff like this, there's, uh, or business, there's two things, main two things you can do. You can introduce something new to the market, right? Uh, to a certain degree and you can copy people as well and at a reduced price so you can you can three things i guess you could introduce something new to the market you can create something cheap relative to a name brand or you can do value added cgc does value added takes comic books grades them slaps them so as soon as you get it graded there's value added right because it costs money to get this done and for me i've checked into it in bc vancouver if, uh, victoria west coast it would cost me at least basically 30 dollars us to get a book cgc graded all right nice is cgc like p psa for cars uh the, a psa psa I, what's psa i don't know what psa is but cgc does cards as well okay does cards as well anti-socialist behavior cheval is where we get the term chivalry, chivalry from ah chivalry originally was the code of the ethics for knights who were the only people rich enough to own horses to ride around on Sh uh, Ch chevalier is old in old english for horseback rider oh i had no idea very cool so fantastic 30 dollars us man amazing buy amazing buy right now this guy has a lot of the seller had a lot of 
uh, books that he was selling you know at buy it now that's what a lot of sellers are doing they're they're uh, listing a lot of books at buy it now and then they have a bunch of auctions and if you're you know if you're interested in something buy it now in an auction when you buy something to save on shipping you go you know do a buy it now now this other book we got this was also an auction it wasn't a buy it now right and i was crazy happy to get this for the price that we got it for professional sports authenticator i guess so yeah it would be do the grading for pokemon cards etc i believe okay mr nine chavalier this looks awesome yeah buy it now is the way to go in my ebay experience uh to a certain degree uh, certain things buy it now for sure certain things auction for example for example here is the other book that we bought <laughs> how many of you know exactly what this is <laughs> scoss man check out the cheval noir seven listed on ebay uk nice price but only looks like fair good really to me it looked better than fine the guy was saying the corners were good there's only two pictures i think the guy provided so i don't know but the other book we got off the guy oh wow that guy on ebay is selling over 200 comics dirt cheap yeah they look pretty cheap to me right <laughs> cheval noir number seven graded at 9.4 we picked this baby up at 76 dollars us okay which is a really good price which is a really good price beautiful i went from having no copies of this to having two copies of this and i'm very happy about it very happy about it right and check this out the guy actually had another cgc graded cheval noir number seven that i was trying to get my hands on okay it was graded at 9.0 and i got outbid the person that wanted wanted for 70 dollars us so I couldn't justify paying $70 US or more than $70 US for 9.0 when I got a 9.4 for 76, right? I couldn't be greedy and it was pushing my limit, my budget. Chicho the hoarder, that's what we call it. <laughs> Only hoard things that I really, really love. Randall, thank you very much for the tier one sub. 21 month streak, 21 month you've been uh, tier one sub. Boop thank you thank you for the support butter beautiful cover beautiful cover really i really love this one uh, like really there's certain dave uh dave, uh dave stevens covers that are, i think stand out more than the others this is one of them this one is absolutely phenomenal really like oh, wow wow my my teenage self <laughs> would be very happy with this cover. <laughs> oh, French, beautiful cover. CGC is the is the way forward, and um, CBCG, I think. The other comic book graded company is is also very good. Forget about PX, PCX, or whatever the crap is. Uh, the other one. So we got two we got to we got to uh, these beautiful 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 things nice 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 very very happy about this <laughs> you can hold it up all day for us <laughs> <Even like you. laughs> How do we get these? Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look, double banger, double banger, double banger. <laughs> I tried to get three. I couldn't get my hands on three. <laughs> nice. Really, very happy about these, man. Very happy about these. Okay. So now we got Dave Stevens. These are, and we do have. Uh, there's a couple other dave stevens covers actually there's i'm chasing many things dave stevens right but there's uh, 
at least one more Dave Stevens cover, a couple of more Dave Stevens covers, uh, books that I really want to get in my collection. One of them we already got, uh, which is the the two two. I should have brought it down. It's probably buried. It's not a CGC graded. It's the two good girls riding on a space bike and shooting it up. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Knights of Old Comic. Do you have every day? No, I don't. I wish. Seems like a fun collection to hunt. Uh, Knights of Old Comic. I'm gonna work on it. Really, I'm I'm slowly trying to accumulate Dave Stevens covers. I would like to get every good girl Dave Stevens Planet Comics. That is the one crack. Planet Comics number one, I believe it is. Planet Comics number one beautiful cover amazing cover amazing cover and we got that one at a great price i saw one go graded for it was graded at like 9.2 for 100 plus uh, i wish i grabbed it more than 100 covers nice old comic one day one day it is one of the things that i want one day i will have all of these stevens covers uh if i live long enough okay we'll try our best and then once we have it in our retirement when it's time to kick the bucket when we're going to liquidate our our inventory our collection we'll list all of Dave stevens covers for a gazillion dollars on ebay because by that time uh fiat currencies around the world would have already collapsed <laughs> to zimbabwe level <laughs> right so very happy to have this gang uh nice nice book books to add to the collection street name lemon that were you doing Liman. hello i've never seen the whole comic book co collecting thing before so this is neat are you a fellow west coaster indeed indeed salutations to west coasters in canada and the united states we're very much the same mentality mick me and a friend are starting a little project soon little antiques for ourselves one of the ideas we had was getting a hold of a one dollar note uh, putting blood oil cooking <laughs> gold and religious symbols on sections of it then sealing it in a hard plastic see-through casing why not why not cosmic mission you got to do uptime up time we've only been live for about half an hour yeah why not and what that means is you're taking something that is a possible collectible right and doing something to it and adding value to it and selling it as a collectible right so what you're doing is <laughs> that's a love right back brother uh what you're doing is you're doing value at it right which is a legitimate thing to do so for example for comic book collecting one of the value added things you can do in comic book collecting okay you can buy large lots right and take them apart and sell them individually that's what uh, auto wreckers do they buy used cars or cars that have been crashed written off and they sell parts they make money another thing you can do is slowly accumulate a certain uh, collection so for example dave stevens collection right slowly start accumulating dave stevens covers and sell 20 of them in one shot at an inflated price relative to what you bought them for because you put in the time to collect them put the listing together and sell them so you've done the legwork for someone that wants to collect dave stevens covers right and star wars covers or star wars stories or whatever it might be right so you can put collections together and you're doing value at it this kicks into our personal finance um, discussions that we've been having right is it illegal to deface currency <laughs> it is i think <laughs> believe it or not crazy uh make none the uk we already checked that ah really cool 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 sleepy ways uh chicho any advice for doing less of everything and focusing on what you truly love i feel i've become a yes man out of fear of scarcity but in doing so um much 
uh, I also feel I'm not working towards what I want, which is music. Sorry if this is random. Well, it's not random. It's sort of related to this. Uh, number one, number one rule, if you want to obtain more freedom or obtain your freedom, start a savings account. I'm not saying savings in a bank account or some, something like this. I'm saying have some type of savings or investments, right? The other one is reduce your expenses reducing expenses and creating sort of a saving sort of a nest egg will get will buy you freedom really get your freedom by reducing your expenses and increasing your nest egg and that gets you freedom and by the way gang if you haven't figured it out by now you will never become unless you're one in a million shot you will never become financially independent okay if you're only relying on a paycheck for you uh, to prepare yourself for retirement and to be able to afford you know some of the essentials in life such as such as housing transportation uh, health care safety and all this jazz you need to actively be investing in something and that means you have to be actively aware of whatever market you're interested in investing your time and resources in for me it's comic books okay and other things of course right see with chicho that's the kicker i've just reached that level where i've increased my savings and i have a little cushion but i feel like i am still operating in my old ways where i still feel like i have to be doing doing the most and it, it, sleepy waves and that takes mental power right a lot of people have a hard time letting go of a routine right that's why i i tell people the 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 one thing uh, i've told friends this and take this with a grain of salt as far as i'm concerned we need to have three months of three months off a year to be able to ground and reanalyze our lives and make the right decisions so take extended time off from work if you have a nest egg if you can afford that right if not build up your nest egg don't eat into your nest egg by just not doing anything right but it's okay to take a leave of absence and make sure you're reducing your expenses to read books to create content and kick it in slowly in that way right uh it, it's a juggling game it, it really is a juggling game i've had friends where they've been laid off where they've uh taken some time off and they get fidgety they don't know what to do with their time right ronnie another hall chicho is making all that crypto game no no i don't invest in crypto okay street name liman i collect old stuff I have a collection of books over 100 years old and glow from the 20s. Nice. A bunch of coins, but no comic books, even uh, though um, they would fit in that same category. Yeah, and you don't have to collect everything. You can collect what you know and what you love, right? And by the way, you should actively, if you're getting a collection, if there are certain gains to be made, if you want to buy something and you can't afford it for your collection, it's okay to let go of some of your collection to generate money. If you're letting them go at a profit, sometimes you let them go anyway, right? To generate more money, to make more investments. It's okay to do that. Okay. Birdie here, take control of your own life. If you want to do something, go do it. Give yourself permission. No one else will. It, Birdie here, 100% I agree with Birdie here, right? just do don't write off everything else don't burn your bridges right we all have to we all have expenses we all have to live we all have to we all have have to take care of business right but it's okay just to do and fail have losses it's okay to do that really don't worry about uh, taking a hit taking a loss consider it education right like for, look again one of the first things that you learn when it comes to gambling is if there's nothing on the line for you to lose you are not 
gambling you don't know what gambling is that really uh, uh, applies to poker right there are a lot of people that like playing poker but there's no money on the line it doesn't have to be a ton of money it could be pennies right there's nothing on the line well if there's nothing on the line and you're playing poker for fun you're not really playing poker you're passing time poker really kicks up in intensity when there's something on the line to lose life is the same way investments are the same way crypto actually went down 30 percent today actually crypto did a nice bounce or bitcoin did a nice bounce from 30,000, which was a good support level and it did a nice bounce to around forty-one thousand right now right my opinion is that was the bounce that uh you should have been if you bought it at 30 you should be cashing out possibly um does it take it with a grain of salt this is not financial advice my guess is it's going to continue to do hit the next support level on the way down okay uh, i don't i i want crypto to be currency i if you're investing crypt in crypto then it's an asset class right i already have an asset class that i invest in which is comic books i'm not interested in investing in another asset class right is a digital collectible bitcoin is a digital collectible there are other uh, cryptos out there which aren't digital collectibles like for example i acquire cryptos off mines off library when i'm loading stuff on right that's one way i'm acquiring crypto as well but i'm not actively buying and selling crypto i'm not into that game i don't want crypto to become a collectible a commodity i want crypto to become a currency okay the libraries are open here now nice I'm reading like a madman awesome all the God agreed but I'm afraid leaving my job burning bridges was a mistake I've made yeah don't burn your bridges gang leave if you're gonna leave a job make sure you leave on good terms that goes with relationships as well that goes with friends as well that goes with everything be kind and others will be kind uh, in return you got to lose to win you got to lose to learn right you got to lose to learn you learn the most from your mistakes street name Lehman the first thing I learned about gambling is you don't have a gambling problem until you start losing <laughs> sleepy wave Chicho I love the gambling metaphor reminds me of Nicholas Talif stuff when he talks about risks and challenges yeah you have to have skin in the game Ronnie you're right Chicho sleepy with chicho do you think uh, ethereum uh, will also crash ethereum has already gone down ethereum is under attack from the securities exchange commission from centralized power we'll see how that plays out but i like the concept of smart contracts and stuff like this i think that's huge 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 okay game changer game changer on the same level as blockchain was a game changer blockchain was the technology that is built on uh smart contracts are the application the game-changing application that is built on blockchain okay the drop was so nasty i think twenty thousand uh or below is coming in my opinion possibly kebab blood 23 chicho hey brother how are you doing doing good brother thank you so good to see you are you staying healthy the shirt sure i guess that gets them ladies good to see you good to see you as well <laughs> especially in the springtime baby and in the summer you're on button all right <laughs> Ronnie this is a small bounce from short shorts closing their positions and long-term investors buying lower possibly they trading crypto like two months and was doing me a favor yeah I'm back rxt r67 until you have oops blood 23 I learned the hard way about uh, being kind I was frustrated tired of being lied and manipulated as days went by I ended up uh, uh, bringing the exact uh, bring the exact person I hated to the most power hungry wow. disregard that was that wrong <laughs> yeah, I know I couldn't figure out what you're saying oh my god we were running on on a Every, everything goes uh stream everything goes stream cosmic visions 
<laughs> what is that? Oh, it brings the booties. Ah, <laughs> press thick. What comics uh, we got today? We got these two comics. Check this out. Check this out. Good girl. Good girl comics. Nice. Dave Stevens covers Cheval Noir number seven from 1990. Should be 1990. 1990. Okay very good we bought this one for $30 US and this one for $76 US total came out to $120 US including shipping which is around $150 Canadian and I'm I live in Canada and I did the buy one of the reasons incentives for me to do the buy is because the US dollar had collapsed 20% in the last year relative to Canadian dollars so I was getting basically a 20% discount on the buy right Lehman says, so I'm new here. May I ask, what is your personal favorite comic you own? Oh, my personal favorite comic I own? I don't know. I have a lot of comic books and I love uh, many, many, many of them. The, these are in the category of some of the favorite comics I own. There's no doubt, right? There's no doubt. Um, uh, I, I, did, I did a reading of one of the my most favorite comics i own okay which is uh, uh, uh the, the eye of doom uh, the, uh from mystic number five more uh, uh wolfman uh, wo uh oh man i'm bad with names if you go to chicho reading i gotta find it for you now oh i gotta find it for you eye of doom i'm gonna find this chicho eye of doom i'm gonna show you one of the mo my most favorite comic books i own that we did the reading of and it's the first comic book uh wolverton basil wolverton not more more wolf i always mix them up this is one of my favorite comics i own i own three copies of this okay two of them are in this grade which is like good is beat down and another one which is a cgc graded comic book that we bought for insanely cheap okay that's the one of my favorite comic books and i have a cgc grade of that which is graded i think at 5.5 or something and we bought it for less than a hundred dollars us i wouldn't sell it for a thousand dollars right now okay yeah that's the condition rating up top ronnie does PCA rate comics too? Uh, I don't know if PCA rates comics. I know CGC. These guys do uh, do rate cards. Okay. Blood. I meant being my bad. Your f face lit up. I have a crush on Red Sonia. Nice. But in the comics, uh, you bought worth it. Uh, and no pro, pada, pro pada, uh, uh, propaganda stuff excuse the spelling do not want to cause uh, anything no no uh, but i still don't understand your questions <laughs> pro punk and that stuff uh, it's like red sonia and i like red sonia a lot uh suggestions for comics for an eight-year-old girl for an eight-year-old girl um bone by jeff smith bone by jeff smith bone by jeff smith oops smith okay it's it's fantasy it's amazing it has a couple of scary parts but no no gore uh nothing like that okay for a teenage boy i would say uh barry win uh it, it i've given it to uh, students before and they loved it okay let's find out how are you doing chicho since you hold these as as stores of value you try to keep track of older uh is that an uh, on being licensed for movies uh for sure for sure brother uh let's find out I, I i do keep track of what the buzz is regarding the tv movie industry and stuff like this to see what books um uh, i need to get before the other ones right so for example i bought and we did a comic book haul on this right i bought a collection a set of uh jupiter's uh legacy uh from a previous comic book haul uh jupiter's legacy uh we bought it dirt cheap 
right? And I got a CGC sign graded 9.8 of Jupiter's Legacy number one for like $25 US. Those books now are selling for a lot more. I'm not going to sell my the ones I got because they're the only copies I have, but I got them because I got them before the market kicked up, right? So for sure, I try to keep track of what the buzz is so I can get whatever books I need to get before the values go up, right? Uh, Blood 23. They spoiled X-Men. As a child, I thought Wolverine is badass, but as I grew up, I started to admire Cyclops a lot and is a badass. All the responsibility of mutants on his shoulders and the person in between Magneto and Xavier. Yeah, Cyclops deserves a huge amount of respect, man. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And Wolverine, they toned down. Wolverine is way more ruthless than, uh, than he's been portrayed to a certain degree right now right Lehman wow cool so so these new ones you got are some big guys in your collection he he's for comic book collectors uh, Dave Stevens is considered to be one of the master uh, cover artists uh, it's like same level as Alex uh, um, Roth or whatever his name is right I like Dave Stevens way better right Wally Wood is another one Frank Frazetta is another one there are certain and um, uh, Matt Baker from the Golden Age of Comics is another one if you can get your hands on some of the most sought after uh, by the way as far as I see it there's a lot of people going into the comic book industry doing collecting some people are not going to stick around they're, they're going to get burned or whatever it is but there are going to be a fair bit that are going to stick around and as people get into the industry and learn about comic books and whatnot they're going to discover dave stevens basil wolverton a wally wood they're going to discover some of these amazing artists and writers that only really comic book aficionados know about right and then they're going to start chasing some of these things and the values of these things are going to go up like matt baker covers 10 years ago you could have bought them for 10 percent of what they're selling now if maybe five percent of what they're selling now oh i mean like no woke stuff in the comic you bought right no woke stuff uh yeah i don't really chase after woke stuff uh you know it, it's it's not my thing i'm not i don't understand the woke stuff uh i'm a huge grand uh grand admiral Th uh thrawn fan yeah like Thrawn comic book number one that came out like just a few years ago like within the last five years or so you could have bought a pr cover price until like a year ago year and a half ago right now it's selling for 30 40 dollars right very marvel film my favorite marvel film my favorite marvel film Man Man manga is god here manga is god here. my favorite marvel film um my favorite marvel movie the first x-men movie they put out in uh, 2000 was pretty good um I, I can tell you some of my favorite comic book movies but i can't tell you my favorite marvel movie my favorite marvel movie my favorite marvel tv series uh legion legion is absolutely phenomenal uh one of my favorites anyway if you haven't checked out the legion tv series check out the legion tv series and legion is an x-men character is xavier's was really good was really good is xavier's son right and legion didn't get a huge amount of hype so check out legion tv series phenomenal phenomenal lord of iron chicho uh is super woke <laughs> beyond the mainstream level similar to an old age on the mountaintop <laughs> interesting round he says legion was really good yeah uh chicho you always give me an expected answer man love it and do i expect an answer but hopefully sometimes i'll give you an unexpected answer uh, great question what was the question cosmic cosmic uh silly question but have you ever had a comic book that you thought wasn't ever gonna get popular but later uh, later on that indeed indeed 
like for example um comic books that i never thought were going to get popular that that they did um are, are we talking in terms of value wise or in terms of um character in terms of character let me think i gotta i gotta really dig in he is omega level <laughs> yeah a legion is omega level mutant super crazy powerful can destroy the 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 cosmos right i stopped watching when uh, season one ended but that season was oh it gets really good lehman continue legion it gets amazing as for uh, comic books that i never thought would um uh, uh, value wise for example x-men number four which is the first appearance of Omega Red, right? That thing was cover price until like three years ago. Now it's selling for 50, 60, 70 dollars, right? Uh, Marvel Comics presents 72, the uh, first story with Barry Windsor Smith of um, Wolverine Weapon X, Weapon X story arc, right? And as soon as they announced the Wolverine TV series, that comic book is selling now for $60, $70. You could have bought it for cover price until like a year ago, two years ago, right? Lark Bark, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Alaga Chicho, you're very uh, bubbly this morning. What the story? I I don't know. I, the comic book hall makes me bubbly. Um, I'm doing a lot of work in the background. I love seeing this new tech kicking in hardcore like seriously gang like for example just just to give you a feel for it uh gray zone put out a video regarding israel and palestine yesterday on sensor tube sensor tube took a lot took it out because they they said it uh, uh went against their terms of service right lucky for us there was odyssey there so you could watch the video on odyssey right so there's a lot of stuff going on and it's amazing and it's fantastic and it's brilliant and i love it right um so staying on top i love conan the barbarian indeed testosterone fueled comics makes me want to jump iron yeah a uh, blood conan is amazing and savage sort of conan is amazing right conan is amazing comic books cosmic sheesh leave politics to politics folders as far as character wise uh comic book character that i didn't think was gonna go anywhere i just love that i that is going that is very popular um oh man there's so many of them uh, I, I just can't think of any right now how about the Gragnak? The barbarian Gragnak the barbarian i think i've read that he's the, the is he Gragnak the bar no no i'm thinking about somebody else i'm thinking about another barbarian comic and that's really good as well it's black and white what was his name um i forget what the name was uh, as far oh well, here, here's a character that i never thought would would gain so much popularity and everybody knows this everybody knows this character right black panther I never thought Black Panther would reach the notoriety that it has, right? Never ever in my wildest dreams I thought Black Panther was going to go or was going to go, right? Like I have a couple of issues of Black Panther number 1. They're not high graded, they're not CGC graded or anything, but I never thought it would reach this level. You could have bought Black Panther number 1, okay, for about $10 until like before the movie came out. Like a year before the movie came out right now i don't know what it's selling for but it's got to be over 100 right gragnak sounds like it's from the fallout games blood hey i got one uh for you you comic you never thought will blow up guardians of the galaxy no one bothered about the space stuff yeah guardians of the galaxy as well and there's still a lot of comic books out there that and characters out there that they have a lot of leg to run still a lot like huge 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 oh another one punisher no you know what punisher i thought was gonna go huge punisher i always thought was gonna go big right because punisher is amazing right amazing here's a one that if dc comics had an ounce of brains behind their movie and tv production would just put everything they have in it they, literally 
it goes against the woke movement woke community it is what the next wave of sort of a wave that's coming right and dc comics would do would make mint i'm talking billions of dollars if they did this thing right if they focused their energy on lobo last zarnian if they came out with a lobo tv series a lobo movie that really did lobo justice on the level of alan grant uh keith giffen and simon bisley man lobo would be on the level of batman if not more okay have you read zombie comics indeed walking dead and walking dead uh, i never thought would reach the level that it has uh amazing amazing deathstroke is another one i never thought deathstroke would go on that level one of my favorite comic characters dc should make a movie on him i think they plan on it blood i think deathstroke they got a lot of stuff planned for deathstroke but i never thought deathstroke would reach the level that it has right now right uh lehman it's funny how dc makes great animated films but their live action is rough 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 blood lobo oh yeah hell yeah but man they can't they just can't current culture won't allow and that's the thing anybody that's trying to make money off of current culture is going to get burned come five years from now okay anybody that is introducing uh challenging the current culture and you got to plant the seeds right now is going to make mint money five ten years from now lobo is it has anyone seen invincible yeah invincible is amazing invincible number one three years ago you could have bought invincible number one for 150 dollars 200 dollars a year ago you could have bought invincible number one for 400 dollars okay invincible number one right now is selling well over a thousand dollars okay not enough dc move not enough good dc movies true that absolutely yeah their animated stuff dc is very good very good elder god as long as lobo doesn't get the hellboy tree oh man that would be horrendous i think it will rock it to the top indeed i think so too and i hope it doesn't get the hellboy treatment if they're gonna give it the hellboy treatment please don't touch lobo please don't do it okay lehman i got a feeling of the boys but animated uh from invincible to be honest yeah but uh, yeah yeah boys and uh, uh invincible are on the same level but boys a little bit more hardcore because it's uh real life action blood that's true culture comes and goes but you are right about taking opportunities now it's ripe or uh, uh ripe for changes 100 percent. and that's one of the things i'm doing right now i'm collecting things that are going against the world culture uh in a big way have you read uh have you read anime comics um a manga yeah yeah for sure uh choco milk not as much as comic books of course but I've read, uh, I've read Akira. I read uh, uh, Tekken, uh, Kirin. I've read this here. Let me get, let me show you what I've read recently. Check this out. Check this out. Awesome Venus Wars. I bought these comics for like a quarter a pop, twenty five cents right awesome read the series gang issue number one i've only read i only had up to issue number six or how many issues i have i only have up to issue number six so i read these i would love to continue reading these and after i finished this i watched the movie the movie was good man the movie was good it didn't do the six issues justice I and mean, there's more but is really good really good akira is absolutely amazing uh, black and white taken to uh, kirin uh, i can't pronounce it it's fantastic All right uh lone wolf and cub amazing amazing lark bark lobo must be done respectfully and not treated like a joke indeed hardcore you go hardcore on it 
Lehman. Just wait till they give you a woke, woke fight club. All <laughs> female cast. It's like the woke Ghostbusters. That was crazy. I didn't watch it, of course. No way. Mr. Brain Freeze, how are you doing? First time catching a live stream. Glad to be here. Glad to have you, Mr. Brain Freeze. Welcome, welcome. Lord of Iron. The boys can be uh, tough to swallow at times. Sure. Sure. I haven't read the comics, by the way. I could have got my hands on the boys' comic books, the whole set, plus some for like 60 bucks, and I didn't pull the trigger. Now it's like way higher, right? Akira is, is a masterpiece, Lark Bark says. Indeed. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Quintero Mura passed away last night. Yeah, rest in peace. He passed away a couple of weeks ago, I believe. They just announced it last night, uh, from what we understand. Blood. Let me uh, give you a recommendation. It's psychological thriller. It's so good. I barely have any words as uh as i do not want to spoil even a little bit try this human human colas by hideo yamata yamata is this a whole japanese horror can you link it up on our discord uh blood if you're on our discord link it up on discord gang if you want to share any uh comic books that people should be reading uh me as well right i've been reading uh, dororo by osama Tek, uh, takudu uh, Tek, tazuka after i fell in love with the 2019 anime adaptation nice nice serious no i want it to be end man can the price value of comic books drop dramatically yeah for sure cosmic visions for sure it can drop it's like any market uh, there are certain comic books that they were selling for a lot now they're not look at look at uh bad idea comic book right bad idea is a new company that was created by the people who bought the rights for valiant comics and they relaunched in 2012 right so they started a company called bad idea what a bad marketing i mean i can't say i i had a on when i was on twitter i had a talk with shashmin i forget his name the main guy um the east indian guy where they said oh they released a comic book their first comic book ENIAC number one it's a good concept great writer on it and they had a limited run on it they didn't supply all the comic books that people had ordered and then they they called their second printing not first printing or something like this or alternate printing they didn't even call the second printing so they're playing games right and ENIAC number one uh the first printing uh was selling for like close to two hundred dollars on ebay i was like man people why are you guys paying this for that that right it could have gone up higher by the way right it was selling for 200 250 dollars right and it was limited so people couldn't buy it right you couldn't read it i i, I think they've stated they're not gonna never gonna release it in trade paperback and i think they've said that they're never gonna release it in digital format they did it not first printing and that was was selling for basically cover price a little bit higher now that comic ENIAC number one the first printing has dropped to less than like sixty dollars or sixty dollars right so those people that bought it for 250 they just got burned 190 dollars right because they jumped on the gun trying to either flip it or do whatever they wanted to right so comic books can do a sharp drop and i'm staying away from buying anything that they're putting out because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play the limited collectible uh game right if if i was a publisher i try to print as many comics as the market demanded plus some so people could buy my comic books and read it right they did the opposite i don't appreciate that kind of marketing okay 60s manga art very different and interesting can I can I link here no only mods and myself can link here you can PM one of the mods um, and they can PM or PM me anybody seen uh, nobody with Bob uh, it is awesome nobody that rings a bell I don't know if I have all God TV series you like Japanese horror you'll love uh, uh, ju uh, jun Junichi uh, uh, Junichi Ito yeah yeah I've read some of the work a fantastic oh, like very scary 
blood 23 bad idea i will never forget what uh alan said hate loves irony dogecoin was one of the irony examples indeed <laughs> choco you prefer horror suspense fun do you have some something that catches your attention i i love sci-fi my first love is sci-fi i absolutely love sci-fi and i loved i used to love horror a lot more when i was younger but sci-fi oh, i see me let's find out chicho have comics been sold as nfts yet i don't know uh let's find out but they I, they will be for sure have you been following um cardano and ethereum from uh, that angle i've i i looked at it a little bit and it's legit let's find out okay it's initially i was like wait a second copies can make but nfts legitimate mfts and not all of them are going to go up in value is a legitimate collectible nfts i think it's a legitimate collectible okay like for me even as soon as i heard about it i was like okay so even me i can create nfts chicho nfts that are fungible right that uh they're they cannot be distinguished right uh or um they they cannot be devalued in terms of or not accepted right they they will be what they are right so i've even thought about creating them and let's find out you should look into it as well you could create a let's find out asmr and let's find out by the way gang creates amazing educational asmr online if 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 you like educational asmr intelligent asmr you, you should be following let's find out uh let's find out uh, asmr's channel and his channel is right here let me find it out let's find out let me grab the link but let's find out i think uh for independent creators it is a great idea for people to look into creating nfts this is let's find out asmr channel it's a great idea to create nfts to generate funds to be able to roll out whatever you need to roll out i haven't looked into that yet right i have only looked into it in the term in the level that it's a legitimate place to be right i haven't looked into creating them yet creating them seems to be fairly easy but i will at some point right as soon as i do a few more things in the background it is one place i'm going to go to to create a new revenue stream okay whatever it may be it it's irrelevant whatever it may be okay but publish 75 variant covers like berserker <laughs> yeah Keanu Reeves I bought a couple I bought a few of those uh, variant covers I bought like four or five of them I like Keanu Reeves man I really like Keanu Reeves I will support him okay movie that oh, was good oh no nobody movie did I see it I can't remember last but not least do you own any virtual comic books no I don't own any digital comic books uh I have I've never bought let me rephrase I, I haven't bought any digital comics I whisper to you okay thank you very much blood best to whisper okay hold on nft is just another derivative for sure but puts and calls are derivatives it's a legitimate means but it is a collectible it is a collectible they will be value on them okay 99.9% .9 will have zero value there will be a certain amount that do I'm pretty sure 90% of our information have purchased through Ethereum. I, I think Ethereum is is the main platform or Ethereum derivatives of. Why not get uh, index funds, Chicho? Right now, I would not go long on any. Uh, I would be very selective on what you're investing in. Okay, M specific companies only. I think the general market is doing a rollover and it's going to do a serious adjustment, unless unless uh you know uh, fiat currencies go the way of zimbabwe and to compensate for the devaluing of the currencies whoo, the market's going to shoot up to a hundred thousand for dow right yeah keanu Reeves is awesome indeed cosmic vision no way i own like all the john wick on prime haha <laughs> nice i own 
I collected the John Wick comic book series when it came out. I grabbed all the covers that I could get without the incentive, right? Plus, I bought the whole series. John Wick was fantastic. And those comic books at the time, no one was buying them. I think they're going for a premium price now. Uh, I haven't checked into it recently. I own like all the John Wick. Da, 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 da. Let's find that Chicho. I will absolutely look into NTF NFTs. Glad to hear a fellow creator is interested. Thanks for the live. It's very mutual. Awesome. Lots of love right back, brother. And if you find anything interesting, uh, let me know, brother. I, I think it's very legitimate. Very legitimate. Thanks for answering my question, but my pleasure, Cosmic Vision. My pleasure. Do you have Batman comics? Indeed, cyanide for dinner. I got a lot of Batman comics. <laughs> I like Batman. Uh, I collect Blu-ray movies just for fun and obviously not for store of value. Ronnie, don't underestimate the store of value, right? They may become collectibles at some point blood 23 do you think there will be an index fund for cryptos there are already ntfs for cryptos there are already ntfs for cryptos uh blood for sure lehman uh i bought some old gans manga for like seven dollars each and then found out uh they are worth like forty dollars used yeah perfect right and look into that collectibles are a great place to be great place to be comics make the world go around cosmic visions in the and gang on that note let's call the stream okay this was a quick comic book haul and a nice discussion to go around as well regarding comic books and collectibles and personal finance love it love it love it hellzock when streaming will collapse for uh, environmental reasons dvd and blu-rays will be gold possibly possibly thanks for the stream brother my pleasure see you next time see you next time gang uh you take care dude you guys as well and gang quick outro if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share a like gang for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this as well as the support that we're getting on twitch so gang thank you very much for the support on twitch thank you for the follows thank you for the discussions thank you for being here and mods thank you for taking care of business Xandar, i saw your video on jimmy dory the marcus and i the, the young turks do you have an opinion on the majority report majority report. i haven't checked out the majority report for a long time it's not ringing a bell i used to check it out but i can't i forget which one it is all right time flies when you're having fun time flies when you're having fun and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange on wikileaks playlist on sensor tube okay and i do announce these streams before we go live on minds vk gap and parlor and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord page and you're welcome to join us on discord to share information and participate in discussions not always in a bubble people will disagree with you and rip you a new one and it's okay right lehman wow thank you for sharing the julian assange great message great message important message for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chiso as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to bitshoot to rumble and to odyssey comic book streams go on all four platforms politics only on in general Bitshoot, Rumble, and Odyssey. So, if you want to follow all of our content, you want to be subscribed and turn on notifications, guaranteed to get your notifications on Bitshoot, Rumble, and Odyssey. Fantastic platforms. You won't get your notifications. The odds are if you're turn on notifications on SensorTube, and if you are on SensorTube, you want to you probably want to make sure you're still subscribed because SensorTube tends to unsubscribe people from independent content 
creators but there is a handful of you that are supporting this work on sensor 2 gang thank you very much for the support it is because of the collective support we're getting on this on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we're doing gang the odds are i'm going to announce our next schedule live streams today later on okay maybe tomorrow morning and most likely we're going to start saturday latest by sunday and there's going to be a probably four three to five live streams scheduled in the next few days aside from that i hope you guys have a fantastic day and thank you for being here bye everyone